April 18th. Warning. Trouble ahead. Exodus chapter 9 from verse 18 to 19. Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause very heavy hail to rain down, such as has not been in Egypt since its founding until now. Therefore, send now and gather your livestock and all that you have in the field, for the hail shall come down on every man and every animal which is found in the field and is not brought home, and they shall die. The Wall Street Journal exposed an elaborate conspiracy to swindle non-profit ministries by a group called New Era Philanthropy. The New Era president promised to double an investor's money in only six months. Many Christian and other non-profit groups had invested millions with New Era when the scheme collapsed. They found themselves in bankruptcy, court, faced with enormous losses. This happened despite the fact that some financial advisors warned them against it. The warnings mostly fell on deaf ears because the deal seemed too good to pass up. When God brings judgment, he also provides a warning. Unfortunately, it often falls on deaf ears. The Egyptians were warned that a horrendous hailstorm would be fatal to every unprotected man and animal. Some heeded the warning, but the majority did not. The loss of human lives and livestock was devastating. Even today, God often prefaces His judgments with warnings. For almost 2,000 years, He had warned man that the wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 He also had warned that we will be held accountable for the deeds of the flesh, whether we are a Christian. 2 Corinthians 5.10 or not. Revelation 20.13 God gets no pleasure out of catching people unawares. 16 times the New Testament admonishes, let him hear. God takes great delight when people heed his warnings and save themselves grief. Be sure that your spiritual ears are attuned to God's warnings. That way, you'll always know when there's trouble ahead and avoid it. God would rather you give heed than get hurt. Amen.